you're watching Fox Tech, and in this video, I'll show you exactly how to get a pointer on your iPad. To make the pointer appear on an iPad, you need to connect an accessory like a trackpad or a mouse. If you're using the Magic Keyboard, the trackpad is already built in, so once it's connected, you're good to go. You can also use Apple's Magic Trackpad or Magic Mouse, and even third-party Bluetooth mice will work just fine with the iPad. As soon as the device is connected, the pointer will automatically show up and be ready to use. Once it's there, the pointer works in a very familiar way. It behaves similarly to what you'd expect on a MacBook or a Windows computer. You can move it around, click, right click, and scroll um, pretty much everything you'd want from a traditional pointer experience. The iPad does a great job of making it feel smooth and natural. And there are also customization options available. Uh, if you go into the settings app and then into the accessibility section, you'll find pointer control settings. From there, you can change the pointer's size, its outline color, the contrast, scrolling speed, and a few other tweaks. It gives you a good amount of control over how the pointer behaves and looks. But here's the catch. If you're hoping to change the actual shape of the pointer, like turning the circle into an arrow, that's not possible. Even with the latest version of iPadOS, Apple doesn't allow you to change the pointer icon. A lot of people would love that feature, but for now, it doesn't seem like it's coming anytime soon. Personally, I don't think Apple plans to add it at all. Thanks for watching Foxtech. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more tips. See you later.